Hey all, today we will talk about nodes in Jenkins and how we can use it. So what is node? Right now we have Jenkins in, on our cloud compute engine and it's the first node. It's a computer where is installed Jenkins and it runs all our jobs, build the projects, create artifacts and it can deploy our project to some another folder or server. When we, when we create some task, we click run it and then it goes to build queue and after that it goes to on first free executor. Executor is our machine, right now it's a master, it's our server where it's installed Jenkins. We can create a few additional nodes. Why do we need it? First of all, it this case works fine if you have just a few jobs and you run it not often and it works for small projects for your own project or some small startup but for enterprise solution it's not the best case because you have to run thousands or hundreds job jobs a day and it can work 24 7. that's why one server is not enough you need to distribute loading and in improve your performance to do it we can create a few nodes here there is a link i will share you it's on google cloud it shows it shows we need this part it shows uh, how it works we have jenkins master it's our server and then we can create a few agents it will be our nodes where we can run different jobs these nodes can be with different operations operational systems it might be linux os or mac and the them and there might be different uh, browser for example if you need some test something for Chrome or for Firefox or something else. And uh, I, I will share this link, I hope it will be useful for you. So to start, first of all, we need to create our, our new node. As we're using uh, Google Cloud Platform, a compute engine, let's create new instance. Create instance, it will be just node one. It will be the F1 micro, the smallest one. Do not forget allow access, access and uh, create. So it's great, so let's connect by SSH. And uh, I didn't mention before, all these nodes we are going to use, we will connect uh, by SSH agent to these nodes. So let's check how we can do it. Okay, we are on the server. First of all, let's update it. Uh, let's, let's create our first uh, node. It's a new node. It will be a permanent agent. And the node name, uh, one of the best practices to call a node name, it will be the host name. So we have node and the host, it will be IP address. Let's just copy and use it here. Let's click OK. So here we have node label. We can use the same or it might be GCP, for example. And the launch method, it will be launch agent against via SSH host we will put the same and the credentials we need to create new credentials let's create jenkins add and here it kind it will be ssh username with private key scope it will be system it's fine id doesn't matter right now but we can create we can create uh, for example with my username description you can skip username it will be username for the server here we have our server and my username it's this one, so we will leave it. And we need a private key. We can enter it directly, add. So we need SSH private key. How can we get it? We need to generate it on our server. On our server, let's clear. To generate our server, we need to call command SSH key again. And uh, here is a file for where this key will be stored. We call it for Jenkins key. It's fine, let's click. Here is Passphrase, I will leave it empty, but uh, for security, you can add your super special pa passphrase. The same again. Here we see that everything is generated fine. Here's the run image of RSA key, and we can check it by go by going to CD. First of all, if you go check this folder, it's I forgot uh, one. First of all, we need to go to SSH folder and then generate it in SSH, it will be better. The same, the same. Okay. Let's check what we have. So here we have Jenkins key and uh, Jenkins key pub. This one is uh, public key. It's public key and this one is private. Also we have authorized keys. Let's check it. Here already we have a few added by Google, but we don't not need it. What we need, 
we need to add our publicate to authorized keys. Let's copy this command. So it, it will add our Jenkins publicate to authorized keys. Let's click it and let's check authorized key again. Here we have this key and um, we can check our private key. Let's call copy cut Jenkins key. And this is, is our private SSH key. Let's copy it. Let's copy and go to Jenkins. And here we need to put this SSH private key. Pass phrase is empty. We left it empty. And uh, now we can click add. After that, we choose this credentials, this user. The next one, what is important, we need the host key verification strategy. We need to check in host uh, key verification strategy. We will choose third one is manually trusted by verification strategy. Let's choose it and uh, save. Remove the root directory. We will leave it empty. It will be in our uh, in our root in our home folder. But let's save it. So after that, we have this node with the red cross because it's not started. Let's open it and uh, launch agent let's check so what do we see here what do we see that uh, it was connected everything fine everything is fine we have this client but uh, exception java is not found let's install java here let's go to home how to install java on server you can check in our video about uh, installation jenkins on google cloud instance we already did it i'll speed up a bit because it it takes a lot of time. Okay, done. Let's check our Java. Java is installed. Great. And um, back to list. And let's connect again. Launch agent. Okay, we need to add the uh, root. Let's configure it. Let's leave it this one. Save. And relaunch. Okay, to do it, let's copy, let's copy our home root and uh, add it here. Let's save it again. So we see that agent is connected and works fine. Let's go to, back to the list and uh, here we see our new node. It works fine. So how can we use it? Let's go to our jobs and uh, we have gen artifact generator. We created it when uh, discussed the artifacts and let's configure it just a bit. So here we can restrict where project can be run. Here we need label expression, but we haven't labels. We didn't add it. So let's add label for our no new node. Let's go to this node, configure. Oh, no, oh, we have label. Let's copy it. It's our node. IP address, configure it. So here we need to choose new node. It will be our new node. Here we see that we have one node. And what it do? As we remember, it creates just empty file txt. And uh, that's it. So let's save it and check how it works. We create it. Click build now. Here we see that the job is run, it's running. Console output check. So it's finished success. Workspace. Here we see that it was moved where we need. And uh, let's check it is it works or not. Let's go to our node. Uh, as we see, it's a new, another node. It's not uh, not we used for Jenkins. Let's clear it. And here, here we can see that we have a few new fold folders. It's remoting, remoting jar and workspace. These two files we need to remove, but anyway, let's go to workspace, check what we have inside. And uh, inside we have artifact generator. It's the name of our job. Let's go to it. And here we have our file txt. Let's check it. And it's hello. Hello, it's a text we added to our job. So now it works fine. So here you can see how we can distribute loading on different nodes and uh, different 
jobs you can run on different nodes it will increase your performance and in case you have heavy nodes or heavy jobs you can uh, run different jobs on different nodes and increase your performance and that's it thank you for watching